Howdy YouTube, it's your old buddy Texas Tuber Tim. We're back with some Cubecraft Skyblock. And when we left off, we had just cleared all the mobs from this island. This is the Iron Island, the Birch Island. And uh, now it is time for us to uh, receive the fruits of our labor. So first things first, I want to see how much iron we're going to get out of this. Uh, by the way, I've had uh, discussions with other people who play this game. I suspect the exact number of um, spawners you get is random. Um, and it's not exactly the same for everybody. So y'all keep count with me and let's compare notes and see how your, um, your experience varies from mine. And I haven't picked up any ore generators yet. Uh, that's four charcoal generators. And none of these are, are really hidden per se. Now, uh, one thing I would say, uh, where those generators were, I probably should have uh, dug around there a little bit more to make sure there wasn't one hidden behind. Doesn't look like it. All right. And we've got the iron over here. Now these spawners take uh, 40 minutes to reset. So this is going to be a slow grind getting enough iron to really make a difference. But uh, iron is iron, right? Am I full of stuff? That's... That's unfortunate. No, wait, I have... I have open slots. Why is it doing that? Uh, that's not making me happy. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna grab a uh, potato. And what else can we throw? Uh, one piece of dirt's not gonna make a difference. There we go. All right, so let's check in here a little more. Make sure none are hiding. I think we got all those. None up here. And I don't think there are any on the surface, and we'll double check it. Uh, don't see any in here. And then we got some more lapis. Okay, that looks like there's all... What did that look like? Uh, kind of look like uh, charcoal for some reason, and, and I did a double take and not so much. All right, got two more over here. And I know to y'all, it looks like I'm trying to put a plank on those, but you can't you can't pick up those uh, generators with a a pick you have to switch s switch to something else in your hand or an empty hand for that matter oh here's the big payload right here looks like oh tell me that didn't just go off the edge What? Turpy game. Well, 
Why are you doing that now? Okay, whatever. Yeah, so you want to be careful uh, over here. Make sure you don't drop them off the edge. Um, iron generators are extremely valuable. You can get more, but you don't want to lose them if you can avoid it. I can't remember exactly what it costs to buy them, but they're not cheap. Okay, there's two more over there. Let's let's run up and find the repair guy. But I think we've got them all. And if and if y'all saw one I missed, make sure you let me know in the comments. All right, so we're going to run back to the hub and do a quick repair. And then we're going to get the balance of the goodies, namely the new tree, the birch tree. Um, you probably saw the potatoes, which we already had. That's not particularly useful. Um, and melons, which I believe from my research is going to be the best source of uh, income for us. Um, or the foreseeable future. All right, we've got a inventory issue here. Let's do this. Um, No game. All right, let's get rid of everything that's not real essential here. Uh, probably don't need this right now. Oh, we need to hang on to some cobble for repairs. So according to this, we got two lapis eight coal and 14 iron, which seems about like what I got the first time. So um, I'm gonna say that I got them all, but here again, if y'all saw one I missed, don't hesitate to let me know I made a mistake. And you'll wanna hug these uh, melons as you, as you mine them so you don't let any of the pieces fall off the edge. Any more hiding on the edge? Possibly. More wheat, which we already had. That's not really a big deal. Uh, but for the purpose of example, if I sell a single slice of melon, I'm going to get 220 coins, which is huge. Um, so that's going to be our new farm for sure. And let's see, which of these is the smallest tree? I think I'm going to do that one at the top of the hill just because it's, well, I started to say it's over the island, it's still kind of on the edge. All right, maybe about right there.
All right, we should be able to work from here. So really all I'm looking to do at this point is to get a sapling of this uh, birch tree type. I don't want to get too sidetracked with uh, collecting wood and all that because there's no doubt going to be a quest that's going to require me to do that. Alright game, give us some saplings here please. See one up there. And honestly, I don't need to get a ton, I just need to get a couple. get all the bits of wood it, the uh, saplings will fall eventually all right gather those up one over here Okay, I think we pretty well got it. So I think at this point what we're going to do is we'll run back to the base. Here's another melon, and I may have missed one or two. Uh, we're going to have to get back to our ladder, which is downstairs. And we need to expand the platform to go up to here. That uh, Joy-Con drift is really um, getting bad with this controller. I need to get that addressed. So this tree farm over here, I'm using for the purpose... Oh, we got 14 of those. Nice. I'm using this tree, par, tree farm for the purpose of getting saplings. Uh, spacing them five apart, but you'll see when we get back over this way. Uh, I've got another farm style for getting wood. And, and I talk more about this in my videos, but when you plant like this, you'll have a nice wood yield and very few saplings. And when you plant like over there, you'll get a lot of saplings and relatively little wood. All right, so let's move on with the questing here. We got Drifter, which we got for discovering the island. And our next quest is going to be Malignant Intent. So we have to kill one more cave spider and 13 more zombies. Which means we need to build a, a cave, uh, uh, cave spider uh, grinder. And we can modify this one to do exactly that. Or we can build a new one. I haven't yet decided how we're going to address that. Uh, the zombies we can address right here because we already have them set up. So that'll be uh, easy picking, so to speak. Uh, in fact, while I'm thinking of it, uh, let's find the other that. I don't need that. Save these for now. 
But we got two more zombie spawners, so we can add those to our our zombie grinder. And y'all can get a better look at that while I'm over here. Simple little uh, drop mechanic. I need to fix this ladder here. Um, and I've got this little platform right here so we can easily get underneath. And then all I've got to do is ready my spawner next to my axe. Which is almost dead. And we punch a hole and before the water obliterates us we uh, drop the spawner in there. It's that simple. Okay, so now we got uh, five spawners instead of three. So that'll be that much more flesh, uh, zombie flesh we get from that. Which will be even more money, which is great. Uh, we're already set up over this way with pumpkin uh, farm. So we'll uh, probably just convert that farm to melons. Ooh, glitch much game? What is going on here? Crazy. Uh, but we'll just convert this into melon farms. And uh, before we do that, let's go to the hub. Maybe that'll resolve some of this glitching. I need to repair my hatchet anyhow. Crazy. Oh, there it goes. All right, so we'll uh, we'll just do this first row for now, because I don't think I have enough melons. So we'll run over here to the crafting bench. We'll make some melon seeds. We've got 30, which is more than I thought. And I'm gonna... Oh, that's, that's a bummer. I gotta do this. So we got enough for five more. Now, this crop, hello? This crop is gonna take 12 hours to grow. But after the initial stem grows, I think it's two hours, two hours, 30 minutes, something like that to get more melons. So it was 220 coins per melon. As a quick uh, refresh. A single cocoa bean. is only 80 so that's uh over over twice two and a half times the the amount we would otherwise get from um 
cocoa bean farms. So that's going to be our new money crop. And I'm going to use this initially to kind of get things set up, but I'm going to do a more of a stacked design, kind of like this cocoa bean tower that we used. Uh, so it's a little more compact for space, and we won't be uh, um, having to expand the base platform. We can just keep moving on with the, the questing. Um, if you're curious to know, when you sell a pumpkin, you're only going to get 22, so a tenth of the amount of coins for, for you, uh, that you would get with uh, melons. All right? So, uh, that's where we're at quest-wise. Uh, we need to kill one more cave spider, and we need to kill uh, nine more zombies. Uh, in the interest of time, what I might do is drop the cave spider uh, spawner on the floor and just uh, kill the couple that spawn instead of uh, bothering with a, a grinder. Um, because I'm going to tell you, the cave spiders are extremely tenacious and this design will not work will not work for cave spiders they will fit through that uh, opening uh, the only thing I found that works is to do a double deep uh, row of these half slabs and I've seen other uh, players use a fence post on the front here to keep them from popping out of there so we may incorporate the cave spiders into this same grinder. We'll just have to see. Uh, we'll have to see. I need to think about how I want to address that. All right, so uh, one more time, if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, would greatly appreciate your support. Uh, your likes on the videos are uh, greatly appreciated. You can also leave us a comment whether you have a question about the game. I answer those uh, all the time. Uh, maybe you have an idea for how I could uh, improve some of these designs we've made. Or maybe you just want to say something nice. That would be amazing as well. Um, finally, don't forget I'm on YouTube Live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. You can catch me on a live stream occasionally on the weekends as well. We play a wide variety of game, uh, games on the Nintendo Switch. Pokemon Sword and Shield, Minecraft Bedrock Edition, including Realm Play with viewers, um, Splatoon 2, Mario Kart 8, Rocket League, etc., etc. I hope you'll check us out for a future live stream because we have a lot of fun. And then uh, last but not least, you can go to my Discord. Um, all my social links are at my website, TexasTuberTim.com. Y'all have an amazing day, and above all, stay frosty.